Uh, today I'm going to show you again SPFX Toolkit and the AI capabilities of it. So um, I hope my slides will start moving. Okay, cool. Uh, my name is Adam. I'm a standard dev. Uh, reach me out. Uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> and what is uh, SharePoint Framework? So for sure, if you are in the school, you know what SPFX is. It's an extensibility model, the primary when you want to extend SharePoint, but it's also useful when you want to extend micro, uh, Teams or Viva or other stuff. It's quite slick and uh, fancy, and we have a toolkit for it. So basically, it's a VS Code, uh, the SPFX toolkit is a VS Code extension, if you don't know. You can download from the VS Code Marketplace, of course, and has a bunch of features that will boost you in many ways. Uh, when doing SPFX development, it's open source and open for contribution. So if you want to help us out, then please do. We build it together, let's say, with Microsoft. So we always reject bigger figures, uh, features. <laughs> In English is hard, even for me. So uh, we always reject, uh, reject bigger features we want to introduce in this product with Microsoft. If maybe they will introduce in their alternative uh, tooling or whatever, so we don't replicate. But we find a gap and try to uh, fix it. <laughs> Uh, we have a lot of things. We don't, we don't build, we reinvent the wheel. So, for example, with samples, we leverage the PMP sample galleries, the SPFX extensions, web parts and ACES sample. We use the same Yoma generator to create our project. And come along. I'm still connected, right? <laughs> okay. Um, I hope I am. Uh, we come along with CLI for Microsoft 365 under the hood to give you, provide you many features. Okay. So, uh, okay, let's move on. Uh, what is under slide? Okay, so why should you use SPFX Toolkit? Well, we have a bunch of features, as you can see, and those are features dedicated on, doesn't matter on what level of SPFX uh, you are. So if you are starting your journey, we have many functionalities that will help you get started, get to know how, about this extensibility model, will help you code and bring your tool, in, uh, your uh, web part to life with, uh, and also boost it, so help you validate if it's you have correct dependencies, run the uh, permissions you need for your SPFX solution uh, with a single click. And some uh, we cover also some couple of uh, typical scenarios like rename, creating a CI/CD pipeline and learning and a lot, a lot more. And we come along with an AI assistant. The slide is actually outdated, but doesn't matter. And this is what I will be talking today. Before I'll jump into the demo, just a short recap. In VS Code, we have a couple of modes of GitHub Copilot chat. So the first one, I I'm, hope I'm still here. <laughs> I'm getting disconnected all the time. Sorry for that. Uh, the first one we have is the ask mode. So this is a standard uh, mode if you want to ask uh, questions to get just um, by providing a context, a relevant answer for your problem. So uh, since it was GA on the second day when you could uh, extend this capability with a GitHub Copilot chat participant, we were there with SPFX Toolkit. And we, of course, introduced our own SPFX Toolkit chat participant in this experience. Back then, it was the only experience the GitHub Copilot provided. And we introduced a couple of comments, like the setup and the new comment. I will be demoing this today, which actually extended, uh, give you like this um, features of how to uh, set up your local workspace, this context and this answer and answers to, to that and guide you through the process of creating a new project. And we also so this is an example of, of, of the new comment. I will be doing uh, this as well. And I also introduced to beta. So these are still beta commands, uh, chat commands, code and manage. manage and basically, today I will not show in code because we are planning to remove it and replace it with uh, LLM tools. But uh, the, and the manage will be probably renamed to something that is more relevant to what it actually does because it doesn't allow you to manage. Uh, it allows you to retrieve information from SharePoint. I'll be showing this today. Uh, but anyway, let's move on. And uh, the second modes you have, these are really similar to each other, the edit and the agent mode. So these are the modes where actually GitHub Copilot can edit your project, edit your files, create new files, replace them. In edit mode, it has a, a limit to this and only does it on the files you provided when the context. In agent mode, it is already uh, aware of the full of your full workspace and you don't need to provide, uh, you can, but you don't need to always provide this additional context and it can do a lot more than just creating and putting code in your project. It can run even commands in terminal and tooling that we expose. So as you can see, it has those this tool icon and now in the latest pre-release, SPFX Toolkit comes along with this, uh, for now, an initial state of a few tools. We are still experimenting and we are finding out what tools will be the, the best here because we there are, all of, of course, some limits. So we cannot expose like 
you know, one billion stuff you can do because then uh, I would be lost. What what can I do actually? So we are still uh, finding and if you want to join discussion, I'll show an issue later on. You can join and and engage what tooling you think would be best uh, to uh, to include in this product. And uh, when prompting, uh, the LLM will decide on its own. We can, of course, guide him by providing a hashtag of the tool that you can use, but we, we don't have to and uh, the LLM should figure out which tool it can use to uh, do what we want it to do. So in this case, we wanted to create a site and as you can see, it will, I will demo it in a while, but anyway. Uh, and it are two ways to provide those tool link. One is a VS Code extension, and this is what SPFX Toolkit actually does. And the other is an MCP server, and this is something we also in the PMP community are experimenting with. So we have a small uh, repo that currently allows uh, with an MCP server that leverage CLI for Microsoft 365 under the hood. And it allows you to uh, manage only lists on uh, your SharePoint online. So it's a start and we are also experimenting here. The advantage of MCP server is that you can use it in VS Code, but, but also in other clients. Uh, so for example, Cloud or Cursor. So if you are um, using those products, then this kind of MCP server can, and those tooling can be used there as well. OK, cool. So I hope uh, this was a bit interesting for you. Just uh, let's jump into demo. <laughs> I hope I'm still connected. <laughs> anyway, so uh, just a small reminder that this is a pre-release. So if you want to, after this call, you want to try out the things I will be showing uh, now, uh, just remember that you have to install the SPFX toolkit in the pre-release state. So here is a switch to switch to the pre-release to have those features that I will be presenting at the very end of this demo. So anyway, I have a, a clean project, no, no files at all. And uh, SPFX toolkit, when it's not in the context of the project, it's the welcome experience, just and we can just go di directly to the uh, to the, the chat and start first in the ask mode. So I'll present what we have already in the uh, minor uh, release of uh, major and minor release of this uh, product. So not a pre-release, but standard release. So we have uh, in the standard release with the uh, GitHub Copilot chat participant and how it differs from GitHub Copilot. So you don't have to. Uh, the the biggest advantage is that it's already pre-filled with the context for SPFX development. So we then don't need to provide this context every time. You know, uh, giving a good prompt can be timely. Of course, we have some shortcut with this with VS Code in VS Code, but uh, every time we need to say, OK, I want to create a new SPFX project. So if I how can uh, if I don't uh, say anything, <laughs> how can I create a new uh, project? Of course, uh, just using standard GitHub Copilot, of course, GitHub Copilot will not know that I'm talking about an SPFX project or whatever project I want to do. But if you use the SPFX chat participant, you are already grounded for uh, SPFX development. So if I would use the same prompt now uh, and just type uh, the SPFX, how can I create? Uh, let's try to be a bit more specific. So there are multiple ways. So, so even as you can see, it uh, suggested me to use the new command for this SPFX tooling, or we can use the create new project button in the welcome experience, which is also giving you a form, which is really easy to go over and, and uh, scaffold your project. But uh, we want to work smart. We want to work with uh, an AI, uh, an AI with us and with, cha uh, with, chat with chatting. So let's say uh, just let one last prompt in this mode. Uh, so let's say, what can I customize? I don't need to, of course, say uh, uh, that I'm talking about SPFX. It doesn't matter if I make a mistake. I think it will understand me anyway. So it has already the okay. KFF. So it's uh, pre-filled, let's say, in grounded with the context of the SharePoint framework docs. So we'll give you proper answers and you don't have need to worry about okay, providing this context every time. OK, really cool. It's a really uh, cool shortcut. Uh, and also, as I said, we have those uh, commands. So we come with two beta commands, the code and the manage, and the two commands that have quite good results and will stay. The first one is the new command we introduce. So uh, let's say uh, now let's see what the conversation would look like if I want to uh, create a new project. You never know, you know, it's AI. You can always crash and edit. <laughs> let's give it one more try. OK, <laughs> this is what I expected. So now the experience is different. So the first time it still didn't, I think, understand that I'm using actually the new command. Duh. OK, it's an I, I, I use this command. Anyway, let's give it a recheck. And now it's say, OK, if you want to create a new name, you have to provide me the solution name, the component, what the component type you want to create, the component name. Of course, I can give those answers. So let's say uh, I want uh, a web part. Space, I always forget, and uh, my 
solution name and <laughs> my component name will be tests and let's see what it what will it will do with it okay so i didn't provide a framework right so of course i will using re react come on <laughs> Anyone is using anything else? Yeah, most probably. Okay, but you can use React. And okay, what it did, it actually asked me all of the questions that are needed to create this uh, this command for the Yeoman SharePoint generator and already gave me an action I can click directly from here. And uh, if I do, let's see the output window. It will take a while because Yeoman for sure is sleeping, but doesn't matter. If it will just uh, create this new project, it will reopen and it's fine. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, I don't need to have as additional like knowledge of the Yeoman Shepherd generator, the SPFX toolkit guide me through this process of creating a project. Of course, I can be really specific about it. So, or or I can do it, uh, try the conversation in a different way. Like, are there any samples maybe? So I don't want to create my project from scratch, but I want you to maybe give me some sample. In this case, currently it will just most probably give me a link to or now to the guide me to the SPFX sample gallery. Uh, should actually, in some cases, it can give you an action that will open uh, this gallery di directly, uh, like it would do here, and click on the SPFX toolkit uh, view button. Okay, so <laughs> I won't show it now, but the Oman SharePoint generator does uh, created the project and reopened VS Code in this new instance of uh, of my newly discovered project. So sorry for this jump. Anyway, let's uh, get back to the AI. Oh, sorry for that. Uh, okay, so anyway, uh, oh, we can be very specific about our project. So of course, I can also do like anyway. So we can be very specific. So let's say I need a new, a new application customizer, and my project will be hack hack uh, the the planet and my component name will be test and it will should figure it out as as well okay so it also figured out what what i wanted to to do and of course you don't need to be so if you are a new kind of person to this and let's say i don't know what i what i need to create i need uh, to customize my viva dashboard and uh, SPFX toolkit will also help you in this process when you are like zero knowledge, so you are starting. And uh, so this is what you can do. You need to provide the solution component name. There's other other ACE, uh, types you can use. And I don't know. You figure it out for me. Let's see what it does. <laughs> okay. So just to give you a feeling that uh, you can be really specific, and it will give you the comment, or you can go like uh, without any knowledge, asking questions, and to try to figure it out for you. Probably suggesting a generic, which is quite a uh, common approach for for the first Viva uh, Ace card. Okay. Anyway, uh, we also provide another command is the setup command, which will uh, help you check if your your local workspace is prepped for SPFX development. So of course it's already grounded, so I can be really stupid about my prompt <laughs> setup. Please let's see if it works. <laughs> uh, maybe I could um, add it a bit more. Okay, it works. So uh, this is how you can, uh, what you actually, the command you need to run to be prepared. And it also gave me an action to check if my local workspace they can uh, run directly here. Okay, and it's checking uh, twice. <laughs> so I clicked too many times. So it's checking the NPM dependencies of, and if I have the proper version of Node, just by clicking this action. Okay, really cool. I'm prepped for SPFX development. Really awesome. And uh, let's move on. So the next thing I want to show is the manage capabilities. So as I said, this will be most probably renamed as the manage is actually asking questions. So uh, I have I've created for the SPFX uh, the SharePoint hack an SPFX solution that needs a site and it needs a, needs to be deployed on the site needs a list. Let's see if SPFX toolkit can help me answering if I have. So can you check? if I have a sites hack site on my tenant. So this is a beta, so it can crash, <laughs> it shouldn't. But basically what it will figure out, it will try to find an appropriate CLI for Microsoft 365 command under the hood and uh, use this command to see if it can answer my question towards my tenant. Okay, so let's see 
uh, what it will figure it uh, figure out. So this is the output for the checking if I was ready to go with SPFX uh, development. Okay, in the meantime, uh, so it uh, provided here, what we provide here is context of uh, around 100 plus CLI commands that uh, SPFX toolkit can use under the hood to actually, maybe let's stop it and try to uh, reprompt it, sorry. Uh, to actually use those commands and uh, give an answer to our question. And uh, in the meantime, if you uh, what, what will help is uh, if you are aware, because then you know what actually uh, questions you can ask. And as like I said, it's not really managed because it only allows you to retrieve information from your SharePoint online. So these are the 100 commands that SPFX Toolkit is aware and can execute. Let's see if it handled. Uh, okay, let's give it one last try and then I'll just crash. <laughs> Sorry for that, but as you can see, it's not working. So maybe we'll do a rain check and um, uh, we'll see it on some other time on the demo. Sorry, uh, you can engage in this issue. So we are currently figuring out. So just my final words, we are currently figuring out what tooling we can provide with SPFX toolkit, which in this issue, you can also find the um, a sneak peek video how it works. So uh, maybe this will work for you. I won't do it now. And this I basically show the scenario where you can say to a copilot that, okay, I need a site with this name and the site I need a list and then check if I have a, let's say, app on my tenant with the holiday app name and then install it on my site. And it will do most probably it for you creating the site. Sorry, I'm not able to show it now. Mm -hmm.